Hello guys, today we'll show you how to make CD car in Unity. You'll learn how to set views collider, write script for your car, use trails, and make simple smooth camera. Here we go! Firstly, create simple plane where will be our car. Drag camera in center. Let's create new folder for materials. Create new material for our plane. I have already prepared my car models, which I had made in Blender. If you want that I show you how to make car model in Blender, like this video, subscribe my channel, and write a comment. But we continue. You can reuse any car models for your project. Okay. Track our car to the scene and set camera. Then drag the wheels. Current empty object car and drag the car body objects here. In car, create two empty objects and name these wheels collider and wheels. Drag wheels object and wheels. In wheels colliders, create wheel collider for each car's wheels. In the car body model, add a mesh collider and turn convex. In parent object car, add a rigid body. Oh, sorry, I had a small mistake. Never mind. Let's attack the wheel collider so that the radius is equal to the radius of the our models. Ok, drag it to the right position. Let's create some materials for our car. You can adjust the smoothness and metallic of your materials how you like. If you wanted to create a luminous material, then check the box next to the emission and select the color and brightness that suits you. I need to do some materials for car lights. Ok, let's write the car script. Create folder scripts and then create car controller script here.
In this grid, create private wheel controllers and private transform for our wheels. Serialis Fire allows you to display these private variables in the inspector. Also, create private energy body car B. At the start, we will announce it. Create method fix update. Ok, go to Unity and track necessary objects in the script. Return to the script and create several public variables. Force, max angle, acceleration, max speed, max back speed, and brake. In fix update collider model Tokyo will equal force multiplied by input getactus vertical. When we press case WNS or vertical arouse, car will move. So that the real subject sorted with the colliders will create a private method sorted wheel where wheel sortation will equal to collider sortation. Announce this method in fix update for each of wheels. Go to Unity and set up our car. Well, return to the Visual Studio. Let's make it possible to steer our car. For that, the front colliders will equal to max angle multiplied by input get axis horizontal. Okay, let's create brakes. If we will press on space, car will be brake. It means that car colliders will equal to variable brake. Well, let's check our work in Unity. That works well, but I have reversed car control. Go fix it. In the fix update, just put a minus sign in front of the input. And one more thing, if you don't press space, collider brake torque you must be equal to null. Ok, for types of transmission, create public enum transmission, outside of our class. And in it, we will create three variables for the types of our transmissions. If you want us to explain what enum is, like this video and write a comment about it. In car controller class, create public transmission transmission.
other in the fix update we will write that if the transmission is front or full, then the front wheels will give force. If the transmission is rear or full, then the back wheels will give force. Ok, go to Unity. Let's create trails for our back wheels. For that, in wheels, create trail and drag it so that its center coincides with the bottom point of the wheel. Let's the top color into V so wheat. Then just duplicate and drag these for another wheel. Ok, let's check our car. Hmm, it's working pretty nice, but we haven't camera. Let's create simple camera. Create public transform target, flow its smooth speed and vector 3 offset. In method fix update, let's announce a vector desired position, which will be equal to the position of the target distant by the offset vector. We will also announce a vector smooth position, which will smoothly rotate our camera. Set the camera position to this vector. Return to the Unity and drag the script on camera. Set up and check it. It's working nice. That's all. If this video was helpful for you, please like this video and subscribe my channel. You can also ask me in the comments if you need. See you in the next video.